I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go, special Bonneville edition. In October of 2004, Ohio State University's Buckeye Bullet One set the electric vehicle land speed record with a top speed of 314 miles per hour. In September of 2016, 12 years later, the Buckeye Bullet 3 went on to achieve a new world record, racing to a top speed of 341 miles per hour. But this is not Ohio State's story. This is the story of the Little Giant and how Revolt Systems and Team Vesco smashed those records and a few more at the same event. Eddie B, tell me what's going to happen today. We're going to beat 300 and hopefully beat the national record of 314 as well. So we got a new upgraded battery pack in here. We have a lot of different things that we changed around the car. We re-geared it this uh, yesterday morning and we're going to go for that record. Re-geared it? How did you re-gear it? I don't know. How did you re-gear it? <laughs> I re-geared it. <laughs> So tell us what the optimal temperature of the motor is to run at a high speed and to break the record. Well, I don't know about the running temp, but right now the ambient temp was about 10C when we started the pre-chill. And now the motor's down to about 7C. So what that does is it obviously gives you that much more time for the motor to run before it gets up to operating temp, get a longer run before you're worrying about cooling issues. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. <laughs> you guys are ready. How ready are you? I'm ready as I will ever be for this. <laughs> There's not much more I can do. Yeah. Is it? I'm here with the team patriarch Rick Vesco. Rick, tell me a little bit about what's going on out here. The electric car, the Revolt car, has a little bit of a fuse problem and we still got the record and we're doing amazing because he got the record in only four miles. If he was to go the fifth mile, this record would probably be bumped up into the mid 340s something. Okay, so let me ask you, what is the current record right now, and what are we shooting for? Well, right now, we just broke that record, so it's a 322 point. I don't know what the points are. But so basically, the little giant ran better than two, 322. 
Yeah, the record right. was 314 on on that record. Uh, the Ohio State uh, group with the Venturi. So they they did a big number. They've had that that record for nearly 20 years. So we just broke a 20 year old record absolutely and it's been the same guys that have been dominating the electric car class so for eddie b and his group to come out here in just two events last event was a good fine problem event we got up to i believe it was 290 and they figured out the problem they come out here and they're they're kicking tail basically all right so you guys heard that the revolt systems team has come out here and broken a 20 year old record and from the looks of things back here it looks like the boys are working fast and furious to do it again all right ladies and gentlemen i'm here with the driver of the little giant this is the man that makes it go eric ritter all right eric you said it's all new technology. Now, we're, we're all talking about, you know, EVs, electric motors, and one of the big things that everybody's been talking about is how quiet the car is, right? So what are you hearing when you're headed down the track? Uh, well, the, the car is very quiet inside. The, the thing that I hear is our quick change setup where we can change the, the rear end differential gears on the final drive. And, and because they're straight cut gears, you get a whine out of them. And that right. whine, as soon as you take off the line, probably 15 feet, that whine just appears and I hear it all the way down to the end of the track. It is what? Zero, zero 0800, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, zero 0800. Um, was this Thursday morning? Thursday. We are headed to back up our record run of 328, 328 miles an hour. All right. How you feeling, Eddie? I'm feeling excellent about this. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, we about to do this shit. Uh, What's the prediction? Uh, we're gonna probably go faster. I'm gonna say 355. I said 356. Yeah. 351. 351? <laughs> Price is right. All right, Greg, what's your call? I think for the days out, I think 360's in the range. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Maybe not this morning, but this afternoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once we turn it around. We gotta, we're yeah, well, once he dials it up, and that's another thing, too. Tell us about what, what so, we run as far as potential power. We're running 300 kilowatts per motor right now. It's a total of 600 kilowatts, a little bit above. above. 800 horsepower. Now we don't want to turn anything up because we have a record in our hand. We don't want to get crazy and start turning things up and playing stupid games. So I'm going to break the, break nothing the stupid yet. Yeah, nothing stupid yet. So once we get the record right now, then, then we, we have a, get stupid. Then we're going to get stupid. We're going to turn it up to 350 per side, so it'll be 700 kilowatts. And then I'll probably do another run after that. We're going to do about 800 kilowatts total, so 400 per side. And see what these things are really made of. Um, I'm just being very cautious. That's a brand new hand built battery pack. Uh, I think we're gonna cook the motors if we keep pushing them hard. Yeah. But hey, this is racing. I'm willing to sacrifice a couple of Tesla motors to see what this thing can do. Hell yeah. yeah. And we don't know exactly where on the course the switch died yesterday to know how far it coasted. Well, it was somewhere. We, we did, it was a right at the four mile marker because he was speeding up. And I, I talked to Eric. Eric said he was speeding up and it was pulling like a. a, a Scalded dog. That's not ideas <laughs> what I do. Pulling like running like a scalded dog until it just stopped, and that was right at the four mile marker. And we popped so it. yeah, switch. Yeah, we he blew the switch. So if the rate was going, if it made it through the five, it would have gone faster. Yes, absolutely. Oh, it was still accelerating like a bat out of hell. Yeah, at four miles. So he coasted a mile, and he lost what? I think the exit speed was two hundred two, yeah. two hundred two miles an hour. And then he popped the shoes. Yeah. And the international record is what? Three. 340 something or 342. right at 350? 342. 341.9. So if we get 342. Yep. We, but we want to smash the record. We don't yes, want to be, we we want want to crush it. We don't want to be polite to the Buckeye Bullet. No offense, yeah. guys. You did a good job, but yeah, it's our time. <laughs> <laughs> Your time was last year. That, that, was, also, time. that was also antique technology. Yeah. 
Tell us how this works. Why? You, what are you doing here? The car itself has an internal cooling system. And so what this is doing is we have ice and salt in this cooler. So we're pumping the coolant through the ice, through some coils that goes back into the motor. So what we're doing is we're actually pre-chilling the motor and the inverters. The inverters make the high, the high voltage for the, to run the car. So that's what we're doing right now. That's why you see this external cooling system. When we're ready to run, take this loose, stuff those back in the car, car self-contained. Two records. Two so records. We backed up the 328 the, uh, with another 316 run on the Little Giant, and, and then Maddie backed up uh, his record. He did a 107 yesterday. Today he runs a 110 on the Alta. All right, Revolt System. <laughs> Miller. <laughs> Fastest fit like a motorbill. One ten, baby. Smooth. All right, so dude, they said that the, your XSB was 110, right? So how did it feel? I mean, it looked like you got off to a much smoother start this time, and, and you went straight to the blue line and just... Yeah, no, you just point it where you want to go and go. Yeah. <laughs> and now, well, how did you run? Did you did you have to feather it, or you just got to 116 and just held it? Got to 116 right before the mile marker one and just held it there. You know, you dropped to 115, you go, oh, 117 for a little bit, and then let it come back down, but... Hey, yeah, easy, easy. Hey, you are now an official record Ooh. holder of fastest electric bike. <laughs> hey, the wheeling Welshman!
there's a new sheriff in town, and that's Eddie B. Oh, well, also Team Vesco has been a really great support for all of us. This car is very iconic. It's actually an honor to work on it. It's had every kind of engine on the planet known inside of it over, gosh, it was built in 1958. So a lot of history there, a lot of history with these guys. There's a jet engine right to my right. Um, having this thing electrified was an honor for us to do. We're, uh, we ran it again today. We popped the fuse and still were able to hold our record. So what was the record today? I mean, what, what did you run today even with a minor issue? So after the fuse blew, we were still able to pull off 316 miles an hour. So what they do is they average the two runs together, brings it down to 322. We just got signed off on that as a national record. We are now the fastest national electric car. And we're going to go back today. We've made some adjustments to the vehicle, changed some fuses and some configurations. We're going to make this thing run even faster. We're going for the nat. Well, we can't go for the national record, but we're going to. I already got that. Well, we so, what's your prediction for the next run? Well, we're going to try to beat the international record. Which next. is what is the international record? 341. And we got it right in our eyesights. All right. What's your prediction? Hey, don't give me that all. Uh, well, if everything. No. Give me a prediction. What are we going to do? Well, my trajectory calculations predict we're going to do at least a buck fifty or 350 out here. There we go. You heard it. 350. That's what we expect from the little giant. Carry on, smartly. You know what? I don't like this dude. Jake's name is darker than all of ours. <laughs> oh, you want your name darker than all of ours? My name is darker. This is the best week for the first week ever. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna need you to calm down some. All right. Okay, can we bring this? All right. There we go. Now. Hello, hello. Wheeling Welshman. All right, the Wheeling Welshman says hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Mike, check one, two. Eddie. Holla, son. Holla, holla back, y'all. Hey, I'm here with my man Jake. All right, Jake, tell me about your experience out here at Bonneville so far. It's the best. All right, Jake, we need you to calm down some, son. Remember that the saying is like, what wins on Sunday, sells yeah, yeah, on yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah. right? How about you just give me a mic and I'll be double checking. Breaking records. What kind of records did you break? World records. All right, there we go. All right, enough from Jake. All right, let's move on to something. <laughs> See you guys at the other end of the salt. Hoo-yah. <laughs>